Hey friend, I'm hoping that today's video will inspire you to get crafty with some clothespins. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com and yes, I'm working with clothespins and I'm going to create a beautiful snowflake. So I started with eight standard size clothespins. Those are just shy of three inches tall and I took the little silver piece off all of them there. So you see all the pieces here and now you want to glue them together in the opposite way in which they are normally put together. And that's just going to create that little piece that you see there you're going to want to do that to all of them and then you'll end up with eight pieces that we're also going to glue together now here's the important part about creating this structure as with any structure when you start gluing pieces that may seem a little flimsy at first but when you continue to add support that's when it gets super sturdy and that really happened during this uh, craft I was worried I was like this is not many glue points here though I have seen people make these but I just wasn't confident going in that these would actually be pretty strong and sturdy but they were even this little piece here where I connected all four like a little cross section there and then you want to go back and add the other four in between and like I said as I continued to glue it just got stronger and stronger and I was really really pleased with it so once you get all that in place we're going to go ahead and decide to paint this part white and I'm going to be using uh, Waverly's chalk paint in the color plasters one of my favorite whites and that'll be just I think the perfect shade of white for this snowflake so there's my paint there we're going to put a little bit in a cup and we're just going to give it a quick uh, paint I'm just going to use one coat for this because I'm going for kind of a rustic look I'm going to do the front the back and all the insides there with like a little tiny brush that I'm going to use to get uh, on the sides there and I'm not worried about just getting it 100% covered but I am mostly covering it after I'm pleased with the coat on that we're going to move on to another size clothespin that ends up being about just shy of two inches tall uh, about one and three quarters inches tall and we're going to do the same exact concept we're going to take off the silver piece we're going to use eight of these clothespins as well get all the pieces together and glue them together in the same way we did the bigger clothespins and once you have all of your sections of that clothespin we're going to glue those together as well now keep in mind if you decide to use different size clothespins for this I'm going to show you a bonus design at the very end of the video but if you decide to use different size clothespins, they all necessarily won't glue together in the same exact way. And even some clothespins are shaped a little differently depending on where you got them from. Now, the dark stained ones that you see here, they already came like that stained and they were from Hobby Lobby. While the ones that I painted white were a big package from Walmart. So you saw that I created the dark stained one there Then I put it on top and glued it on top of the white one and then I had that cute little wooden snowflake that I got from Hobby Lobby in a bigger package that I glued in the center and I think it looks so pretty stacked and 3D like that lastly just to give it a little bit of extra character I took some distress ink in the walnut stain color and I brushed along the edges of all the clothespins even the stained ones I took some of that same white and brushed it along the edges of the darker clothespins and the snowflake that's the final touch off camera I did decide to make mine an ornament and I drilled a tiny little hole for the string though you could probably glue that as well here's the one with the baby clothespins on top of the medium ones adorned with a cute little button and i think these would be so pretty in a number of colors and styles i hope you're inspired to make some of your own Bye bye